Hey, how's it going? We got Ash here, who's a 14 month old Kangle, and I'm his owner, Ron. And today we're going to be going to some dog parks. We're going to take you guys with us and just see how Ash behaves around all kinds of different dogs. You guys have been asking for this, so let's just find out uh, how a 14 month old Kangle actually behaves around very specific dogs. And we'll do a little bit of a uh, behavior breakdown just to see exactly what he's doing and for what reason. So let's get going. Okay, so here we have Ash. He just got into the dog park, and this is pretty normal. Dogs all just swarm each other and uh, just smell each other once they arrive in. Uh, this little guy was the only male at the time in this dog park that day. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's just being super gentle, just sniffing around. And I think he pays a little bit more attention to him because he's a male. But, uh, I, you know, he's an unneutered male, so I don't think he really cares too much. But uh, he's far more interested in... Uh, getting to know this dog smells and just seeing this dog then obviously the females around him but uh, Yeah, once he gets the gets a good scent picture of this dog. He's just kind of just off to have fun Super gentle Ready to play This is a dog park he goes to quite a bit or has gone to a bit. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see even with like female dog he loves playing with female dogs because uh, uh, I don't know. He just he's so much more easy going with them <laughs> He lets them kind of pick on him a bit more. But, uh, yeah, he's just so curious with this male here. Yeah, as you can see, just even, it doesn't really matter if they're larger or smaller. He's just so, he, he's so aware of his size and his power, his strength. And he's just so nice to just every single dog, you know, unless they're, uh, presenting a, a threat to him, like growling or some sort of threatening <laughs> behavior. Other than that, this is Ash. This is typical Ash. And, you know, I can't speak for everyone's Kangles, but this is, uh, they're so smart. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to put up with this little guy's behavior doing this too much. I think in, in a second he gets up and, yeah, he kind of shakes him off. But, you know, he he's already kind of figured out this little guy really doesn't, uh, he's kind of harmless, so it's really no big, <laughs> it's just kind of amusing to him. But yeah, he's so gentle. He's so aware of like his size and his strength. At least with smaller dogs. Now, I don't think he's actually ch like uh, tested and challenged himself with anything that's uh, equal to his size in terms of an actual fight. But uh, he he knows how to handle himself with small dogs, and he's just great around them. <laughs> well, as you can see, I mean, he's just the sweetest dog when it comes to playing with little dogs and female dogs and. I think that was a really great example of just like socializing how it pays off. Now let's go see, uh, we're going to go to another dog park and take him on a little bit of a run too. And we're going to see uh, just how consistent he is and if there's anything that, uh, any other dogs that might uh, potentially challenge him. We don't know. We'll find out. Okay, this is Jess, Jess stepping into this other dog park here. Uh, this old timer, this, is, <laughs> this guy's an old timer. He's definitely an older dog. Uh, I have a feeling that he was like an alpha dog in his prime. In his day, I bet you this dog was ready to, ready to scrap. He just seems like he's got that vibe to him. But I think, you know, his best days are probably behind him. But yeah, look, see, he's, he's very standoffish, very stiff. This is what male dog, if you see your male dog going very stiff and both of them are doing that, that's not a good thing. That means they're about to have, uh, have an altercation. But it looks like Ash is kind of just, uh, you know, respecting the dog a bit. It's not really challenging him. Otherwise, he would stiffen up too. I think he smelled immediately this dog was neutered, so it's not so big of a deal. But uh, yeah, here he definitely, he takes some serious time smelling this dog and uh, smelling its urine. He's probably getting a really good picture of this dog's overall health, its age, its status. I mean, he really takes his time and he's getting a thorough picture of this dog. So I think after this, once he smells the dog's urine, then, uh, then he kind of really opens up and is quite open to playing with him. And again, this is at this dog park, this was the only male at the time. So he's really focused on, it seems like he, he likes playing with the females, but it seems like if there's a male there, he wants to kind of like uh, do this kind of like a mock challenge play kind of thing. That's what I'm noticing with him. He really like, he really wants to focus on doing these little like uh, scrimmages and, but yeah, you see how he's going down like that. He's very, it's all <laughs> playful. He's not uh, trying to really rough the dog up. I think if he was far more, uh, Serious about it, he'd be 
legitimately swarming the dog and putting him in a, a submissive position. Yeah, he's uh, he just, you know, all these other dogs are females. He's just really focused on, uh, right now in this age, 14 months, he's really focused on uh, putting his attention to males and like doing these little mock uh, domination, you know, this dominance things. <laughs> this little old, this old timer, he's a, uh, yeah, I'm quite convinced he was like an alpha dog in his day because this guy is just, he was so adamant about doing these like, uh, these mock mounts, these dominance mounts. And Ash here, he's putting up with this guy. In a second, he'll he'll definitely yeah. He doesn't allow he doesn't allow a dog to do that. And if he's in that position, he certainly gets out of it quickly. But here he is. This dog's trying his best, but Ash just you know very easily just, just puts him down. And uh, you know if this was a younger dog that was more of like a rival, I've seen Ash slam a dog multiple times like this real hard to the ground. So. He clearly knows this dog's older, it's not as strong, so he's very, very gentle with this dog considering. Yeah, and he doesn't, he always stays higher. He keeps his head higher than the dog, so that's a sign of dominance too. When a dog wants to be, put his, rest his head on a dog's shoulder, that's a sign of like, a uh, dominance. Oh, here, here. This is a new dog, or this is another dog park, totally different day. And this dog is like a, a Great Pyrenees or a Pyrenees dog, and it was under one years old. It was a male. It's not fixed. So as you can see, this is totally different. This is Ash immediately when he came into the dog park. This dog was there, and he just swarmed this dog. He was on this dog. He made this dog submit, made this dog be in a submissive position, and he's right there. He's doing these mock neck bites. He's showing this dog that he's alpha. Yeah, this is a totally different behavior for him. And there was another dog that came that comes in shortly, which you'll see just briefly. Uh, same age, I think. It's a male, unneutered, under one, and he does the same thing. Same dominance, dominance uh, ritual that he's doing. It's just to show the dog, the other males, that he is the he's the alpha. And this is something that's um, probably started really happening within the last like two months, but more so now than ever. Yeah, here is the dog that was coming in. Unfortunately, I didn't film it too much, but. Same thing. It's a young male. He, as soon as he comes in, he just puts it right in his place. He doesn't bite. He's not aggressive, but he just asserts his force on it. <laughs> this big guy. This guy was uh, one of Ash's favorite dogs that day to play with. It's another big boy. He's a, I think he's a half bull massive or something. But yeah, Ash just loved playing with this guy. This guy was a neutered male. I don't even know how old he was. Maybe two, three at the most. But. He just loves wrestling with these big dogs. I mean, once he checks them out and they're, they do their little like meet and greet, if he's, you know, if there's no issues, he just wants to kind of test his strength with these type of dogs. He loves, loves wrestling with them. So yeah, they had a great time. This dog, uh, this dog and him really got along. And uh, yeah, it's just unfortunately for this dog, Ash has just got so much power. Oh, this little guy. Uh, this guy was a troublemaker. There, for whatever reason, there's these little dogs that are neutered, that just they are just trouble. This dog, this dog's owner, really did not do any. Took no look at the comes in rushing again. This dog's owner at that point should have corrected the dog because it shouldn't be rushing in. It must think that it's like a an alpha. It's a it's clearly not though. It's in no position to challenge these dogs. But I think it does it again. Yeah, here it is right now. This is the point where this could have been a fight. Look, it looked away. It didn't keep eye contact. So that was an acknowledgement that it was, look, see, it looks away. So when the dog challenge, does a far, uh, mock challenge, if it looks away, the one that looks away is the one that uh, kind of lost the confrontation before they fight. So that's an important way for dogs to settle issues. And here, Ash, he's not putting up with it. He just wants to play at this point, but he's getting just annoyed with this dog. And uh, this is the last dog park in the in the video, guys. But uh, this is a dog park in Toronto, Canada. And it's called High Park. And I've only taken it here a handful of times. But uh, this is a place where there's a lot of dogs that have behavior issues. A lot of people who just keep their dogs at home all day long. And they take them out for an hour. And these dogs are pent up. They're not. They're really not well behaved. And... Uh, it just seems like, I think these two were both males, and uh, I think at this point, Ash was not enjoying seeing this husky show dominance in front of him. Because there's three of them, I find every time there's a third dog, there's always a dog that has to press on another one to show that one's the dominant one, especially when they're all the same uh, gender. But yeah, he had to show that husky 
don't show dominance in front of him. He's trying to maintain eye contact with him, but the Husky's not doing that. And I think he's still going to be at, he, yeah, he's still on these dogs. He's trying to show alpha on both of them at the same time. So there you go. This Husky's showing dominance on this little one, on the white one. Ash is, Ash is posturing on both of them. <laughs> that German Shepherd tried to run in and uh, Ash looked at it and it took off. But yeah, he's, he's, Ash is right there. He's showing these dogs, look, he's trying to maintain dominance on both of them at the same time, maintaining eye contact. He's checking the Husky now. Yeah, he was, uh, he's probably older. I don't think this would go even as well. He was pretty reserved with, uh, with this kind of a thing. Just showing them how strong he is. Yeah, he just basically wants to just, uh, just affirm to these dogs that he's kind of the, kind of the boss there. So there you go. That's Ash. Uh, that's pretty much typical Ash behavior at a dog park. And, uh, you know, as he's getting older, like you guys said, he's becoming a lot more uh, standoff. Like, he's asserting himself a lot more with uh, the other male dogs. But anyways, uh, I won't keep you guys any longer. Thank you guys all so much for your support. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you want to stay tuned and up to date with everything that's happening with Ash and Kangle information. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.